Hey guys, so today I'm talking about getting started as an artist. So, how do we motivate ourselves to actually get up and get something done? So, that's the biggest problem that I've had. I have this fear of, you know, not being able to create a amazing piece of art. So, I sometimes sit in bed and go through my phone and looking at other things, other artists, and I'm like, I wish I was great. Why isn't my artwork so good? And then I stay in bed probably until like two or three, and then I realize that I haven't gotten anything done. So I have three steps on, I did this, which is equal, equal six, but three. I have three steps to go ahead and get yourself ready and get yourself motivated to get some artwork done. So my first um, little tip is going to be getting up early. So even though it's your day off and I know that you wanna sleep in, getting up and getting in that shower, getting some makeup on and getting dressed is essential to getting your day started. Especially if you wanna do Instagram, if you wanna do YouTube, you have to get up for that sunlight because once you've missed that sunlight, you are done. You are not gonna get anything else published because the lighting's not good. Um, and then you found that you've wasted your entire day. You're gonna go back to work really upset that you didn't get anything really done on your day off. So it's so important to get up early, especially if it's you're getting up to get some inspiration. You wanna go to the museum. You. I mean, I don't know about where you're at, but all the museums around here close at like 5 p.m. So if you don't get up and get ready and get out the door, you've, you're missing that opportunity. And let, let's say you get that inspiration. You go to the museum and you just have this stroke of genius and you have to get home and you've got to sketch, and you've got to start painting. You're already getting home so late, you have no daylight, and then there goes everything. So getting up early is absolutely essential and then my second tip is going to be creating a playlist so i know that i use pandora and i use netflix to kind of get and just start working so my third tip would be to go ahead and get your chores done early and when i'm saying get your chores done early, I don't mean get up even earlier and get all your laundry done, go get gas, um, do the grocery shopping. I mean on the days that you actually work, and this is more for people that do have a normal job, which most people do, I kinda have to do that right now, so, um, and that, that's totally okay. But that leaves us with less time for ourselves to get artwork done. So what I suggest doing is even on your work days when you get home, get those things done then. And then when you actually are off, you have the entire day to yourself to be able to get artwork done, get some inspiration going. So, and I feel like that really helps me. And when I go back to work, I feel so much better about myself because I was able to actually go out and um, get the things done that I wanted. So those are kind of a few things that kind of helped me. Um, I know that when we're artists, we have all these fears that kind of come to us that we, we fear that we're not gonna be able to get the artwork done that we want, that we're gonna disappoint ourselves or the our people that follow us. So um, just make sure that you're starting there and then I feel like you'll be able to get something done. Um, I know for me um, on social media, um, getting Instagram posts in early, get your videos in early, is really important to get um, engagement. So that's another thing all about, I feel like it all goes back to getting up early. And I know that us artists, we get our stroke of genius at like 2 a.m., midnight, you know, really late at night. But even if you do finish an amazing piece of work, you're not gonna be able to stay up to edit it and get it ready in the morning or by 1 p.m. to be able to release it. and. Social media is such a huge thing for us artists because that's the way we're getting our artwork now. That's the way galleries are noticing us and choosing to pick us for shows is over, you know, 
our social media. How many followers do we have on Instagram? And I know I keep going back to Instagram, but I feel like Instagram is really how us artists have been getting our artwork out. Um, you know, being consistent, consistently putting out work. And the only way you're gonna be able to be consistent and put out work is if on your days off or on your extra time, you're giving yourself the time and motivation to be able to do that. So I feel like that's a really good start. I know it's helped me out. Um, I sometimes will make a list beforehand, um, like the night before of almost a schedule, time schedule. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do sketches through, through this time. Go ahead and edit for Instagram, do a video, then edit my videos at night-ish, and then be able to put it out the next day. So keeping yourself motivated, keeping yourself on really great, like a really great schedule, time management is the way you're going to succeed. Also, it gives yourself discipline because you don't wanna be wishy-washy. You don't wanna be that person that like, I mean, I see a lot of artists do this, that they're really inconsistent. I'm really bad about that. I'm really inconsistent. So just go ahead and start putting these practices in and I know that you're gonna really accomplish a lot more. So thank you for listening to me and kind of hearing what I had a, my little input on that. So if you'd like to see more videos from me or you want me to hit some topics, go ahead and leave me a comment. Definitely subscribe so that way you can keep in touch and I will have links to my Instagram, Facebook, all of the things down below. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Mwah.